be subject to rulers, authorities, and obedient, and to be ready and willing to do good. We talked about that. Mm. To slander or abuse no one. To be kind and conciliatory and gentle. Mm. Show unqualified consideration and consider it toward everyone. Unqualified consideration. Are you a Christian? Then I'll help you get home in your car because you're obviously just struggling with alcohol. So, but you're a Christian, you know. No, I'm an atheist. No, I'm not helping you get home. Well, you help Fred. <laughs> you know, and unqualified. That, that's, that's deep right there. Un- showing unqualified consideration. I go out in the streets, do what God asked me to do, but he didn't tell me to ask them any questions about this, that, or the other. It's like, I want you to go do this. Okay, I want you to go pick up the trash. I want you to go hand out hot dogs. I want you to go buy down gas. I want you to go to the pregnancy care center and help do their flowers and move some stuff upstairs and downstairs. But I don't want you to qualify that. I'll give you a hot dog if you're a believer. You're not. A, you're homeless. I can't give you a hot dog. You know, or you're homeless. We give you all the food you want. Oh, you you drove here. Sorry, there's no qualifications. But <laughs> how many people sitting in churches today are being qualified? We're sitting outside the church. There, there, there is something that those of you who know next door. It's the neighborhood version of Facebook. Yeah. And and out there last month they were they were just flaming on the people that go to orchard church in magnolia that's a methodist church mm-hmm. but it's orchard mm-hmm. church and and there's a line you can drive down there on that saturday morning it was yesterday and there's there's a line out there of cars waiting to get this food and toiletries and some guy coming up to them and saying you don't need that apparently i know you and yeah. you don't you don't need yeah. this yeah and then that that is a very real thing yeah uh, Isn't it hard? I mean, you think about it. If God asked you, uh, people standing on the corners. Ra- rarely lately has God asked me to give them anything. But years ago when I was pulling out of Sam's Club, there was an old guy and he had a dog. And I've watched people give him money. And I've watched people give him food. And I and, and I, I had the wrong attitude every time I see him. And I got to, okay, Lord, if, it's, if they're doing it because they need it, that's between you and them. I'm not being convicted to do this, so just keep my attitude right. My attitude was wrong every time I see him. Those rascals making more money than anybody out here. They're tax free, darn. And, uh, and it's <laughs> like, so what are they doing? And I've watched them. I mean, even if even if they're getting a dollar from every car and they get thirty cars an hour, give them a dollar out of the five thousand that goes by them in an hour, mm. they're doing pretty good. Thirty bucks an hour so, tax free is it's great. pretty good. Yeah. So I, I had. I had a piece of pizza or a pizza and a drink and and, and I saw him the dog. But as I pulled up, let's say I seen him giving him money and then the, the person up far enough to where I could see give him a hot dog and and they're I think they might I don't think they gave him anything to drink. I think they just gave him a hot dog. And I saw him rip that hot dog and he kept a bite and gave the dog three quarters of the hot dog. Well the Holy Spirit convicted me, he says you need to you need to do something for this guy. So I purposely ran around, came back, got in another piece of pizza, and got a soda. Well, somehow the soda got a hole in it. And now I'm embarrassed because now I'm thinking, the guy's going to think I'm giving him my soda because the hole got in it. But I saw he, he held it sideways. He gave the soda to the dog and gave more of the hot dog to the dog again. And I'm like, Lord, it, it, I totally got to rely on the Holy Spirit on who to help and who not to help. And, and and that moment was probably more for me than for him. Yeah, he probably needed the food if he's ate half a hot dog by now and the dog's ate a half, uh, dog, hot dog and a half. But the compassion he had for his dog that is the only friend that guy possibly perceives he has, his companion, that that's the only thing that's stuck by him, he's taking care of it. When the Holy Spirit asked me to take care of something, that's what I should be doing? That was the conviction I got out of that. And usually if they ask for something specific, I go, well, let's go in and get the milk that you're asking you need for your baby. Oh, no, no, no. And I said, well, then you don't need my money. Well, I need gas to get to Florida for the funeral. I said, well, yesterday you needed gas to get the, the main for the funeral. Which one is it? And then they, get, and then they take off. Beset by tragedy. <laughs> yeah, and then they take off. So it's like, which one is it? You know, and it's like, 
I don't mind. If you would have just came up to me, and Joel says this all the time, and, and take it with a grain of salt, I, I don't see this me being convicted to do this often, but he says this. He said, 